Verse 28. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord, my God. <laughs> so now Thomas want to worship him and say, Yeah, I believe. I believe, Lord. I believe. <laughs> oh, man. Thomas was, he was sort of, he, he didn't know what else to say. He because he should have known, he know he should have believed at first, but now he he does believe. Verse twenty nine, Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because you have seen me, that's why you believe. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. So Jesus is correcting Thomas. He said, Yeah, yeah, you believe, but you believe me because you have seen me. He said, blessed are those who have not seen me, yet they believe. So this is what you got to understand about the scriptures. It's by faith. Everything that's being said and done. None of us have never laid eyes on the Lord, but yet we believe the scriptures. We believe what they say. We believe Jesus is the Son of God, that he died for our sins on the cross. He was raised. From the dead on the third day. And he's alive. Seated at the right hand of the Father. We accept this and believe this by faith. He came to and for Israel. This also you have to believe this. It hasn't been taught this way. For a reason. It's a conspiracy against Israel. Go read Psalms 83. It's a conspiracy to hide who Israel is to destroy us. Well, the Lord said he was going to destroy us. But there are people that are enemies of God and therefore enemies of Israel. <laughs> and they wanted to wipe us, the memory of Israel, out the face of the map, the face of the earth. And so Jesus came specifically for Israel. But... These people that don't like Israel, who are enemies of God, they uh, mess with the, the doctrine of, of Christ, of the gospel. They want to say that Jesus came for everybody. That's why they want to start Christianity to replace Israel. It's not just for Israel now, it's for everybody. That's false doctrine, period. Now, you're going to, if you stand up, you're going to... Face a lot of people like, where are you getting this? We've been preaching that Jesus came to save everybody forever. Now you want to say he came just for Israel? What do you think? We've been lying all this time? We, we don't know what we're doing? Yeah, yeah, you've been lying. You don't, don't know what you're doing. Exactly. Jesus came for Israel, period. That's who he came for. That's who he's coming back for. <laughs> Israel. Now you can go on believing this. He came for everybody if you want to. Whoever sins you remit, they remit it. If you uh, re believe in the, for the remission of your sins, you'll be cleansed. But if you don't, you retain, retain your sins. Jesus is not coming back for the word. That's why he said, many will come in my name. What is the name that they're coming in? Many. Christian. That's a form of the name of Christ. <laughs> and shall deceive many. That's why many are deceived. Because they think that Jesus is coming back for them. Jesus ain't coming back for them. Jesus is coming back for his people, Israel, period. And I had to say all that so that you can understand. That's what Jesus is coming back for. So he told Thomas, blessed are those that have not seen but believe. We haven't seen, but we believe. We got to believe all the scripture, all the gospel, okay? And sometimes that means going against all these man-made traditions because a lot of that stuff that you're getting in your 501c3 corporation Sunday churches is tradition. It's, it's doctrines of men and devils. <laughs> and they're not telling you the truth of the gospel. 